you suddenly hear something in the distance, a strange but familiar tune. Sabeel freezes. You recognize it as her scar song. The master is near. A moment, years in the making. Soon, I will have my vengeance. She gives you a quick kiss on the cheek. Sing the song when I signal you, and wish me good luck. One step, then another, ever closer. You can tell from her bearing, Sibyl has never been so ready to kill, so on the brink of impending action. She's like a cat, all concentrated muscle, that split second before it pounces. Another step, ever closer. The moment has finally come. She's found the master. The eyes of predators meet. Sabeel. He snaps his fingers, and she involuntarily snaps to attention. Here you go, breaking my heart. That's the plan, mastermind. He sighs, sadly. I don't begrudge you your freedom, Sabeel. Your escape relieved me of having to witness your death by your own hand. The inevitable last command. I would have watched you, like I have all this time. Glad to see you live, sometimes even laugh. I'm very fond of you, you know? The feeling's not quite mutual. Not yet. Another snap. Different fingers, different sound. She looks to the ground. She's... she's bowing before him. Utter control. The tool of a tyrant, you think. But you're mistaken. Let me indulge you with an explanation. Everything I do, I do for a much greater good. The supreme example of this is you, Sir Beale. She's the prime scion. It had to be her. The other scions knew and welcomed her. They sought out their own killer. It was all so very elegant. What I did had to be done, Sir Beale, and I had to be the orchestrator, for I am the House of Shadows. I am the Fate Weaver. I am the hand that guides a blind world. Even yours, Red Prince. Sibyl slowly draws her needle. Time to get to the point. My, my, you still have the needle I gave you. How very gratifying. A fine instrument, is it not? Precise, exact. Just like me. Just like you. You should know that I forced you to shed the blood of Scions because rather than a killer, it transformed you into a savior of untold millions. Here's the final truth, Sabeel. The true evil here is not me. It's you. The Mother Tree and her Scions do not seek to carve out their own part of peace in this world. They seek to carve out the whole wide world for themselves. They want their roots to conquer every last inch of Rivalon. World domination. The prevalence of one race over all others. That is what they desire. That is what I counteract. He died the day he met me. Death, death, death. Did I create a monster after all? I don't begrudge you your freedom, Sabeel, but you came looking for me driven by no more than ordinary bloodlust. All you see is red. You've lost sight of all reason. You know how the scar works. You know I have but to sing a single tune. You've no hope whatsoever of defeating your master. He sings. The scar song swells. A thousand tiny needles in Sabeel's soul, chipping away at her will. She looks at you with hope and defiance, gives the signal. You must sing the song. Your voice harmonizes with the master's. Stunned, he hesitates, and yours becomes the dominant melody. Sabeel is free from his influence. Dear me, you're a miracle worker. I'll take it from here. The patient cat finally pounces. She strikes, precisely, exactly. Her needle pierces his neck, spears his vocal cords, filling his throat with blood. Checkmated and muted, he staggers back, all a feared fury. This is it. 
It's time to kill the master.
fall. The elven tree must fall. The elven tree must fall. He fears it. He fears the elves. The elven tree must fall. The elven tree must fall. He fears it. He fears the elves. The Shadow Prince's spirit snarls at you, claws at you, but his spectral nails move harmlessly through your body. His fading eyes go wide with such abject fear it is terrible to behold. And how very wonderful that feels. <laughs> 